All right, so the next question is, what jobs are available out there? And to answer that question, <clears throat> let's go ahead and navigate to indeed.com. And I've included a snapshot here for you guys. So if you uh, navigate to Indeed, I have indeed.com open. And if you just search for data scientist, you will find that right now, as we speak, there are around 25,000 jobs available out there, specifically in the US. And I just wanted to show you guys two quick examples, one from a junior data scientist and another one for a senior data scientist. And let's go ahead and navigate through the requirements and what's actually required for both of them. So the first job that I have here available is for a junior data scientist. And it's by a consultant company called uh, Booz Allen Hamilton. And if you, if you guys scroll to the bottom here, you will be able to read what is the job is all about. Basically, it's telling you that, are you excited to unlock the secrets held by a data set? And if you guys remember, all what the data scientists do is to try to gain valuable insights from that data. That's essentially what the job here is entailing. Are you fascinated by the possibilities presented by IoT, machine learning, and artificial intelligence? And if you wanted to, for example, leverage the massive amount of structured and unstructured data to unlock or open new opportunities. And if you guys scroll to the bottom here, you will notice that basically the uh, company provides many services, consulting services when it comes to fraud detection, cancer research, and national intelligence as well. And basically this is kind of the description of the job. You have the opportunity to develop your analytical skills and establish your career in data science. Basically here, because it's a junior job, they will put you in a training program, okay? And within that training program, you will be able to learn how to write scripts to integrate data. You will be able to conduct exploratory data analysis or EDA. And please know that we're gonna learn how to do many of that in our course. You will be able to discover hidden trends, apply machine learning strategies to perform or kind of create prediction models. You need to know how to basically make decisions. You need to also perform data visualization. These are essentially all the different skills that I showed you guys before and what recruiters are actually looking for in any data science applicant. And if you guys scroll to the bottom here, you will notice that this are, these are the requirements. So you need to have two plus years of experience working in professional environment. They didn't specify much of details in here. You need to have experience with programming. As I mentioned, Python or R will be very useful. You need to have some experience with databases, for example. You also could have experience with Microsoft Excel. You need to have some basic knowledge of mathematics and statistics. And here there is bachelor's degree, again, as one of the requirements. And here it's telling you nice to have, that would be an add-on basically, if you, have ability, if you have the ability to learn a programming language, if you have done some data visualization before, as I mentioned, using Tableau or Power BI, or any of the data visualization libraries, such as Seaborn and Matplotlib. If you have some knowledge in working with cloud computing environments, such as AWS, for example, or Google Cloud, you have worked collaboratively with other teams, you have the ability to pursue a career in data science, and of course, if you have, as I mentioned, bachelor's degree is one of the key requirements in data science, math, engineering, physics, statistics, or computer science as well. Okay, so that's an example of a junior job. Let's go ahead and navigate to a more senior job. And this job here is available at Disney. And basically, here, you will be mostly focusing on developing recommendation engines. If you guys remember, I mentioned Netflix and Amazon recommender engines. This is pretty much the same here, and the title is Senior Data Scientist. And these are the key responsibilities. Basically, it's telling you that you will be applying statistical methods to meet optimization, personalization, recommendations, and efficiency-related challenges. And here you will be able to, and these are the key responsibilities for the job. You need to be able to translate business problems into an actionable data science project. You need to present analysis and models in a clear and easy way. If you guys remember, data, uh, communication skills is really critical in this job. 
You need to be able to develop and deploy and support machine learning models. We cover that as well as one of the key skills to acquire. You need to be able to build reports and provide kind of real-time dashboards for leadership and key stakeholders. And we mentioned that as well. You need to be able to develop statistical experiments and analyze the results. You need to be able to process, cleanse, and verify the integrity of the data. If you guys remember, 80% of the job is mostly into that piece, how to collect the data, clean it up, perform data wrangling, and uh, visualize it as well. And you need to perform, participate in data validation effort and data discovery and exploration tasks as well. And these are the basic qualifications. And please know that this is for a more of a senior data scientist. You need to have a bachelor's degree in one of these areas. You need to have five to eight years of experience in data science, statistics, predictive analytics. You need to have deep knowledge in statistical statistics principles. You need to have hands-on experience in one of those, for example, recommendation engines, neural networks, um, churn models, logistic regression, linear regression, and we're gonna cover many of those actually in this course. You need to have experience with Python and R, we covered that before. You need to be able to communicate effect effectively, and that's of course a key skill to have as a data scientist. And you need to have a passion for data and technology as well. And these are the preferred qualification is to have a master's degree, uh, as a preferred basic degree in statistics, data science, math, economics, previous experience in entertainment, and knowledge as well of video streaming, and of course, hands-on experience with Amazon Web Services or AWS or any other cloud services as well, such as Azure or Google Cloud too. Okay, please note that here the required education is they make it clear that you need at least a bachelor's degree in statistics or machine learning background or general engineering, okay? All right, so the last point that I wanted to show you guys is if you head to Glassdoor and you just type data scientist and you specify the US, you should be able to see the salaries here that are expected. For example, it's telling you the total pay is around, the base pay is around um, 199,000. The additional pay is around 20,000. So the overall total pay is around 120,000 approximately. And that would be the range. So the most likely range is between 90K and 171,000, which is quite a lot. And it's kind of possible range is less than that, highly unlikely, but more than that is actually possible above 170K up until 255,000. And here it's showing you all the different companies as well with all the expected salaries. For example, Meta, you're expecting 160,000 per year, for example, as base salary. There is, let's say, IBM here. If you scroll to the bottom, there is actually the company that I just showed you guys before, Booz Allen Hamilton from a consulting standpoint. We also have Amazon here at 144,000 as an example. The one last point that I wanted to show you guys is within Glassdoor, if you guys click on career path, you will find really interesting uh, article here that can show you the career path basically for data science. Like how can I become a data scientist? So a data scientist, as I mentioned before, use programming skills, analytical, statistics skills to collect data, analyze data, and interpret data sets, kind of understand the results, basically. And here it shows you like five, I would say, key steps to perform. First, you need to get your undergraduate degree in data science. And the recommendation is studying computer science, data science, or statistics. And here, basically, it states that 64% of people working as data scientists earn a bachelor's degree. And I showed you guys that before in the Kaggle report as well. What skills do we need? As I mentioned, you need to have basic understanding at least of machine learning, statistics, Python uh, programming language, and knowledge of algorithms as well. And then the next step is that you need to sharpen your skills. You need to learn the necessary skills to become successful data scientist. And the best way to do that is by building your data science portfolio. Build real world projects using real world data sets. And please make sure to include machine learning application in your project. You need to have programming, of course, data visualization, reporting, and data cleaning and um, wrangling as well. And then you need to develop skills in database management, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So these are, I would say, the key skills that you need to acquire. You need to know Python programming, R programming. You need to have Tableau, for example, uh, expertise, or uh, Power BI. These are mostly 
to create data visualizations and charts. And then after you get that, you can go ahead and find a job. You can search for a job and Indeed is a great website as well to do that. And again, having a data science portfolio is really crucial. And then you uh, here as a recommendation is you can actually not just start as a data scientist, but you can go ahead and start as a business intelligence analyst or maybe data engineer or maybe statistician, for example, as a, as a start before you just to get your first one to two years of experience. And then you can transfer afterwards to a data scientist jo role or job. And then finally, you can further your education. You can kind of specialize in certain area such as deep learning, uh, natural language processing. Perhaps you can get a master's degree, for example, master's of, of applied data science, master's of um, computer science, for example, and then that will, of course, improve dramatically your earning power. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next lesson.